Today we're going to have a look at some harder volume questions. So if we take a quick overview, then we should already be familiar with the concept of volume. But here in the exam, in the more difficult questions, we can have the volume of composite shapes. Now a composite shape is basically one shape that we can divide up into easier manageable shapes, either by adding or subtracting two or more shapes. Now, these are usually the harder problem solving questions within an exam. So we have a video on just standard volume, which I'll put a link in the description um, to that. But here, we essentially need to analyze our shape and deduce how we're actually going to find a specified um, volume. Now, you don't have to remember all of the volume formulas because they will be given to you in the exam. Now, we mentioned the exception of the two in our previous volume um, tutorial, but we'll just uh, do a quick reminder so as that um, everybody is on the same page. So, the only formulas that we will need to remember is as follows. So it's the volume of the cube, which is the length to the power 3, because a cube, each length is the same size. So we just need to multiply it by the width, the breadth, and the height. That's when we would achieve our um, units to the power 3. Now the volume of a cuboid is pretty much exactly the same, but the, the length, the breadth and the height, these can be different values. But either way, they still bring with it, so if we imagine our cuboid was in centimetres, then this would be centimetres times centimetres times centimetres, so we add the indices, so we get to the power 3. Now some of the other volumes is the volume of a sphere, so that would be v equals 4 over 3 pi r cubed, the r cubed provides us with the units um, cubed. The volume of a cone is very similar, but this then we have r squared, and we then have to take into account the height of the cone. And then the volume of the pyramid is a third a multiplied by h. Now a is the cross-sectional area of the pyramid, and then we would multiply that by the height. So that's the, that's the key volume formulas that you're going to need in your exam. Now let's take a look at the question. So here it tells us that we have a carton is in the shape of a large cone with a small cone removed. Now the large cone has a diameter of 32 centimetres and a height of 24 centimetres. So we can see that this overall shape has a diameter of 32 and from the very top to the very bottom is 24 centimetres. Now we have a smaller cone, which is this cone here, right? It's not this part up here, it's this section down here. And this has a diameter of 18 centimetres, and it only has a height of 13.5 centimetres. We want to calculate the volume of the carton. So that means, and we have to give our answer to two significant figures. So that means we're going to have to do multiple volume calculations and then have to do some form of subtraction or addition. So we know from the problem statement that a carton is in the shape of a large cone with a small cone removed. So this shaded region is the carton. So if we start off with the volume of the large cone, then what we can do is we already have the, the formula for um, the volume of a cone. So what we'll do is we will pop in our values. Now, remember the formula was r squared multiplied by the height. So we know the diameter is 32. So our radius is going to be 16. So it is 16 squared multiplied by 24 because that's the height. Now this would be in a calculator paper, so you would just pop this into the calculator and we would get a value for the volume of the large cone to be 6,433.98 centimetres cubed. Now it's very important that you keep the units there. Now if we find the volume of the small cone, then that's this cone here, then we have, we're going to use exactly the same formula, but this time, rather than having our radius as 16, then we know the diameter here is 18, so our radius must be 9. 
So the 9 squared multiplied by the height, now the height of this cone is only 13.5 centimetres. So we just pop that into the calculator and we get a value of 1145.11 centimetres cubed. So we've now worked out the volume of each of the cones. Now the volume of the carton is the shaded area. So all we need to do is say what is the volume overall and what is the volume of this and we take them away from each other. Because the remainder would be the, the volume of the shaded region. So the volume of the carton will be the 6433.98 minus the 11, uh, sorry, the 1145.11. So that'll tell us that the volume here is 5,288.87. Now the question asks us to round to two significant figures. So we'll round that to 5,300 centimetres cubed. And that's how you would go about solving harder volume questions of composite shapes. Now again, we could perform something similar, but instead of taking away, we'd maybe have to add them. So the, the principle is exactly the same. What you're doing is you're finding the volume of different shapes and then either subtracting them or adding them to get your composite shape overall. So now it's your turn. So in order to enter our £250 prize giveaway every month, all we have to do is answer the following question correctly. So we're given a mug in the shape of a cylinder and we're given some dimensions. And we need to calculate the depth of the coffee within the cup if we have 600 milliliters of coffee poured in. So comment your answer and please subscribe and comment your answer. And only valid subscribers with the correct answer will be entered into the monthly prize giveaway. So that's the end of this lesson. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful in understanding the concept of composite volume. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us reach as many math students as possible. Thank you for your time, and we hope to see you in another video.